I was chilling with the bros who was up for a night out. Yeah. Saw you in the cut with that wifey demeanor. Hey. Looking so bored out your mind though. You kinda give me the sign, so conversations became relation. No escaping, heart is taken. I've been waiting, I've been patient. Thought you'd been down, heard you skip down and can't be found. Where are you now, baby? Deep down, I know you've been missing me, but you keep being a mystery. Damn, don't know if you recall it, but last time I sang, the sun won't shine till we meet again. Been waiting all these stormy nights. Don't shine when you go away hey, Baby, won't you come home right now Baby, won't you come home right now, yeah Need to know that you okay, okay With everything I gave up for you Did it for love No escaping, heart is taken I've been waiting, I've been patient Thought you have been down, heard you skip down And can't be found, where are you now? Baby, deep down I know you've been missing me, but you keep being a mystery. Damn, don't know if you recall it, but last time I said the sun won't shine till we meet again. Be waiting all these stormy nights, oh yeah, stormy nights, oh yeah. I found you on my way yet again. We must be meant for each other, girl. Oh yeah, baby, don't fight it.
exhausted I'm tired I'm drained I had breakfast this morning but for some reason I'm still hungry it's just I'm feeling at odds I had a new energy drink last night and I think it has me feeling nauseous and I don't like that I don't like that and at first I was like that's kind of weird but then I remember you guys remember when I <laughs> that night when I was on the side of the highway sick and I had my suspicions it had something to do with the energy drink that I had then so um that energy drink was like black something I don't see it too often but I have seen it around and the one I tried yesterday was prime and I'm mean, sure she was cute she really reminded me of Alani new but I need to compare the ingredients on those two and with like Red Bull or something else that I normally drink to see what ingredient in there makes me feel sick so I can avoid it again okay? cuz like ew I hate feeling nauseous oh excuse me I need to pop it on the face um but yeah so today is my first time at the new gym I'm nervous and I think I'm gonna vlog but we'll see I'm wearing one of my favorite leggings today it's giving me first day of school so I feel like I had to I had to show up and show out you know I really wanted to work did I make the right turn huh oh crap was I supposed to go straight no I'm good um what was I gonna say yeah I really want to wear my blue set that's one of my favorite favorite sets I've had it for years and it still holds up it still remains as if I bought it yesterday I just love athletics um, but I think it's in the washing machine I was like where's she at I don't see her she was not in my stash so I pulled out the next best the next best thing um, which is the orange version <laughs> I just really like this cut in general um, it's like the little v-neck in the front super cute um, but yeah chill. I'm trying all oh, this is sprouts here is that sprouts so that's cute I can do a quick little grocery sesh after the gym gas station I don't know what part of town this is um, yeah it's a bit of a drive but it is what it is um, yeah, so I'm a little nervous to be vlogging at a new gym for the new people. But we're trying to push through. We are trying to push through. And I'm also going to try and film a little, like, reel today as well. So it's like walking in with a whole bunch of equipment, a whole bunch of this and that. I don't even know their rules on recording just yet. So I'm hoping it's not going to be an issue. Um, I guess I'll have to find out when I get there. I have to make my membership and take my picture and all that stuff today, so. <sighs> Lord. Anyways, child. Hopefully, I'll see you on side. But if not inside, then for sure afterwards. Oh. Child, not the, uh. Can I turn? Yeah, we're still going. Period. And that's all. Motherfucking driver. Oh my god, I'm still driving to this place. My goodness, where am I? Um, I don't see my trainer's car. Wait, where is she going? And that's her right there. Is that her husband's car? So anyways. <sighs> Let's go in. Let me tell y'all how. Let me tell you how she trying to play me. <laughs> uh uh. How close you want? It? You want it further out? Like this? Or do you want it like this? Yeah, you need to get a lifesaver. Right so to go wash my struggle in real time. Amazon. Amazon. Oh hell no. There we go.
about a million, I keep it a trend Resilient, they energy off My image is got reaching deep in the pot I got features of people I love Yeah, R.I.P. on me, T.T. The melanin on me, my cheekbone is native The soil is my wild walk eh. Some even saw me, my nigga go figure My inner make enemy scoff eh. Admit it, your energy off eh. My frequency killing you soft eh. I show people love, they act like they above it But switch when they see me, I'm lost eh. I tell the truth when I talk eh. Just wanna be me I used to sleep in the car To my girl when it crashes in car Now I got a crib down the street Ay, Young niggas made it so far Ay, I never lose what I'm on Ay, For now I'm cool being me Ay, But I need you to match what I'm on How you wanna play games when I want Ay, I play with cash for the fun <laughs> Women looking at me She think I'm needing her on I'm doing me for me hun I never needed no one I never bleed around sharks They saying you are what you eat But she wanted me to be lunch God body from the turf, my hair in the breeze Some fair con, keep the peace, I look out for me About what they say, I can't hear them from the clouds eh. I don't talk too much, but these diamonds talking loud eh. And I'm turning heads, got these bitches going out eh. About what they say, what they say, what they say I'm a soul vibe, always down to slide I've been real from the jump start, it's just part of my design I've been self-made, you know the bills paid, I've been a spark to subscribe You want a real one, well I'm the real thing, I'm running rampant through a mind Ay. Yeah. I never lose what I'm on, I'm always cool with being me Ay. They never match what I'm on, Ay. I play with cash for the fun Got body from the turf, my hair in the breeze From Farrakhan, keep the peace, I look out for me yeah. About what they say, I can't hear them from the clouds eh. I don't talk too much, but these diamonds talking loud eh. And I'm turning heads, got these bitches going out eh. About what they say, what they say, what they About what they say, I can't hear them from the clouds eh. I'm way up, nothing less than And I'ma stay up Can't hear them from the clouds eh. God, be safe and warm Lord, I am drained. <sighs> yeah, I don't think my breakfast was heavy enough this morning because, like, I feel like I mean, like, I worked out, worked out, but also, like, I felt like the exhaustion that's about to hit is about to hit. Mm. Anyways, I am going to run to Best Buy real quick. Because I think I want a new camera. <laughs> oh, I just, I've been increasing the quality of my content gradually. Um, but so far, nothing's hitting the way I want it to hit. And so, I just want to go and play around and touch things and test things. And see what is available on the market for me to actually, like, hold in my hand. You know? Um, so I can really gauge how it's working oh so yeah um because there's, there's always so much you can do looking online so oh my god i'm hot i'm driving the windows down today i can't oh but yeah whoa there was no way i would have been able to do that workout yesterday when i got back into town Mm -mm. I fully needed that day to recuperate. Fully. Anyways, let me start playing some tunes. Tunes. Let me see. Where's the nearest best buy? Alright, let's hit the road, Jack. I need to play some upbeat music to wake me up. Oh, Ashake has um, a remix with uh, her from Lonely at the Top. But that's not my vibe right now though. I need some hot. Best Buy sucks. They have like four cameras. 
you can't even open the screen to see what it looks like like trash So, um, ah, so I wanted to show you guys my girl. Oh, child, not just exposing my whole apartment. Like, thank you, reflective uh, packaging, Beyonce Sinoir. You know, I see why people thought it was gonna be like more on the sultry, sexy side because Sinoir, Sinoir definitely gives like. Nighttime sexy sultry. Is it Noir's not it's black. Child, y'all saw the Martinique vlog. That fresh was kicking out of hind, honey. But I finally got the Beyonce perfume. And I just wanted to say that it's so few celebrities. I can come out with a fragrance. I don't even look at the notes. I have no idea what it smells like. I have no idea what it's gonna give. And I purchase beforehand, knowing nothing about it. Is that not insanity? Like, I really just want to say, the influential girls, <laughs> we are underrated because I would never advise anyone to do that. Like, it's actually insane. Me, thinking on what I just did, I spent, how much was this? Where's my phone? I want to say I spent like 160. Uh, let's see, Beyonce. Look at my email. How much did I pay for this? View your order. Yeah, let me see how much money I potentially wasted on a fragrance. I had one eighty five twenty four. What did I get? Yeah, it was one sixty. I did a pre order, of course, plus shipping, taxes, all the thing. The fact that I'm even paying for shipping. Anyways, I digress. But yeah, literally, I had no idea what the notes were, what vibe was gonna be like. And I don't have any other Beyonce fragrances. I think some of the girls were into heat. I have never, I, I don't think I have, have I smelled it before? Well, if I have, clearly I don't have it. So I don't, I don't know. I don't know. So the fact that I went ahead and got this, child, it's, it's not surprising for me as a person actually. So let me not even cap. But this is what the packaging looks like. We are going to be doing a first impressions together. And this is what she looks like. Okay, very interesting packaging. I feel like this is on brand for the Renaissance tour that she was just on. Oh, it comes out. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so I was like, first of all, like, why is it so flimsy? But it, it comes out. So this is the actual perfume bottle. Is it? It's not a twist open. I think I just struggled to open it. Yeah, okay. <sighs> Moment of truth. I just paid a hundred, two hundred dollars basically. Moment of truth. I like it. Oh, whoa. Okay, so the first spray was very pretty and sweet and feminine and soft. But then as it starts to dry down, there's a note that comes forward more. Let me see if I can find the notes of this because y'all sometimes I be saying stuff and it, it, it in my mind, <laughs> I feel like that's what it, it smells like, but I'm be saying the wrong words. Say noir notes. Top notes of clementine and golden honey, followed by middle notes of rose. Oh, hold on, hold on. 
Okay, okay. So, I'm glad I read it because I almost feel like there's the tiniest essence, like literally, like if somebody sprayed the perfume and then sprayed one spritz of Delina, the original, in between, that's what I'm catching. So I'm like, something is coming forward. But when I tell you it's like deep, 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 deep in it. So I guess that's the rose note. And that sweetness is definitely heavy on the honey. I catch that. Um, what else? I'm not mad at this. It's, I don't wanna say cutesy, because it's not cutesy in like a childish way, but it's, it's like, mm, mm, you know? It's kind of weird that she came out with this in winter though. Like this is not a winter fragrance, but I also be scared to wear this in the summertime because I feel like the bees would be, the bees would be in the trap, be, bees in the trap. They bees in the trap, be, bees. <laughs> Yeah, um, would I repurchase this if, it's, if when it's finished? As of now, no, but she's cute. I don't regret my coins. But like, I don't know why I just don't imagine this on Beyonce. But you know, we only see Beyonce the entertainer. We only see Sasha Fierce. We don't really see Beyonce in her real element. So this could very much be the true essence of Beyonce. We don't know. It's giving like soft summer, not even summer, but like a spring picnic day. It's not too warm because when it's, when it's too hot, I feel like the honey would be like almost sticky and not in a good way. So a nice breezy day like just above chill like i'm talking about like a beautiful perfect morning and i feel like this that's the essence that this gives it's a nice beautiful picnic airy morning a breeze the flies are not out and about yet but you still get that beautiful fragrance that pulls through without the threat of bees and i i like it i like it so i don't know if that helped at all um also, hold on, let me see if my first. So, I mean, this isn't strong, but at first I was like, oh, okay, because I heard people des describing it. And I tried not to watch too much because I didn't want their um, thought process to mix with mine beforehand. Um, but for the most part, what, the few that I have seen were pretty spot on. Um, but I also tried the Naturium Glow Getter Multi Oil Body Butter. Um, I don't know if you guys remember, but I tried the um, oil body wash and I personally am not a fan because it did not pass my white towel test and my white towel test is when I first use a body wash, I make sure that I use a white bath towel afterwards to see how much it cleansed the skin and so I would say with the oil the glow getter multi oil body wash that is definitely something that you want to use to nourish the body after another deeper cleanser so you would definitely want to so you would definitely want to double cleanse because the crustacean that was still left on my towel afterwards was very disrespectful and very embarrassing so much so that i was like i'm not showing this on camera like be for real i don't care what the girls tell you i will never be 100 percent on camera you want me to show you the crust that came off my body on a white towel on camera where it will live on the internet for the rest of life are you insane are you mad <laughs> why would i ever do that once something's on the internet it never goes away you could delete Block, unplug, um, restart. You can do everything you want. Once it's on the internet, it will never go away. I will never be 100% on the internet. Sorry to you and your homegirls. But I, when I saw that towel, I said, oh. Oh, and ironically, out of all the body washes, that was one I enjoyed using the most. It has like a very light fragrance. You guys know I love fragrance, but I understand the lack of for the girls with sensitive skin and having a product that works for everyone, right? I get that. But the Glow Getter Oil Body Wash Oil has a little bit of the twinge of something, which I didn't get in, in, in any of the other ones. So I said, 
so far i like this one the best but i would definitely recommend double cleansing before using that one use that one as a nourishing body wash to bring some moisture back to the skin and maybe to like get a little something something off the skin that was maybe left by the first cleanser but um yeah because using that by itself very scary it was very scary for me but i actually really do like this butter that she just came out with um it's a medium butter it's not super thick but it's not a thin lotion either it blends into the skin fairly well it doesn't leave any kind of sheen or anything i used it all over this morning it has the tiniest fragrance just like a hint of something and at first i was like oh i think it will pair well with the beyonce Child, not the perfume falling out the casing i thought it would pair well with this but this one i feel like seems a little more fruitier compared to this but it's not fruity ish i feel like i can't even smell it anymore so if you want a butter that's hydrating but not super thick or super greasy or oily then this is definitely something that you can look into I probably will continue to repurchase this after this is done this doesn't have any bad ingredients in it so far as i can see um and yeah like i said it's a nice medium moisturizer so i feel like this will carry well into the warmer months um we're gonna see how it holds up in the cooler months but yeah i'm not mad at this at all we have our newbies for the day and so far they're both a win i love that for us yes okay same bar same bar i, I don't feel like the name matches the, the fragrance at all though like Anyways, child, let me go. I got things to do. So I'm gonna see y'all later. Okay, so don't mind. Um, first of all, I need to wash my hair tonight. I bought some new hair products. Am I a hair influencer now? Oh, am I gonna be doing a hair concert? Oh. Anyway, child, I also have to record some more hauls and stuff. So that's why this section still looks a mess. But that's fine because I just wanna do one big cleanup, put everything away, and I'll be done. That's gonna happen this weekend for sure. And I can just break all that down. Finally. Anyways, I think we'll run some errands real quick. Stop by my brother's house. Stop by my, mm, I'm going to stop by my brother's house. He just called me, asked me if I wanted some bouillon, which is like a Haitian soup, usually with like beef. And like, it's like a very rich and hearty. So I'm about to run over there and tear that up. Um, and then I also placed an order at Alta for two fragrances. One is a Tiffany, for her perfume that I've been wanting. I told you guys about it. I don't know why it took me so long to get it, but they actually have a set at Ulta, so that's why I said let me get it there and not at Dillard's. And I also picked up uh, Versace Crystal Noir, because the girls keep raving about it, and I'm just sick and tired of being left out of the conversation. I want to be part of the conversation. And I feel like I smelled it before, and I liked it, but I was like, uh, you know, let me not get it. And now I'm kind of like mad that I didn't get it, because the combo that the girls are coming up with, <laughs> anyways yeah so i've added quite a few fragrances to my collection in the past like two weeks i always do this it's never like one or two it's always like a huge fragrance thing then i'll buy perfumes for like eight months and then i do like a big thing and then i'll buy perfumes for like a year i don't know why i do that but anyways that is the plan for the next couple of hours i'm going to do a wear test of Sinois. I'm going to ask people about their thoughts on how I smell. Oh, it might be time to let these pants go, honey. Oh, no. I really like these pants. It's, it's giving saggy crotch now. That makes me sad. I really like these. But, yeah, it's time for her to go. Ooh, maybe I should just change now. If I change my pants, I have to, I have to change the whole fit yeah um it does look not damn i just wasted perfume on this outfit <sighs> okay brb okay i'm back with the outfit change <laughs> wearing these oh my inner thighs are so sore from my workout anyways i got these shoes from nordstrom they're from the brand aldo and so far just first impression put my feet in them these are the comfiest like real platform loafer I've ever tried because usually they're so stiff like I've been eyeballing some platform loafers from Franco Sarto 
want to tell for years because I feel like they're so stunning and he has so much range but every time I try them on it feels like I'm wearing a brick and I just can't do it so I decided to pull the plug and try these out and when they came in I was like okay I feel a little memory foam on the inside like it seems like it might it might be possible I put my foot in them and I said oh my god I can walk so I'm obsessed I actually ordered them also in cream <laughs> and I ordered some cream tights to go with my dress that I got from H&M so I went to H&M to see if they had items for plus size burlies in their regular size sections let's try them on oh she's cute oh wait a minute I bought everything I want to say in a double XL but they're super stretchy and they are oversized ish and I'm a 3x is it a dress or is it a t-shirt oh it's a t-shirt oh well, she's a cute t-shirt and with tights I feel like we can we can make it work with tights we can make it work tights and knee or thigh high boots oh or maybe a jacket on top hold on, please because listen if you can't see the back, who can tell you it's too short? If you can't see the back, who can tell you it's too short? Yeah. Oh. Ah. Please. Please. How cute is this dress? Oh, I'm gagging. Oh, this is a winner. This is a winner for sure. Yes. I mean, but realistically, it's like real short on me. I'm 5'8 and I'm thick. So when you thick and wide and you long, Things tend to look like t-shirts, leggings. You can make it look more like a tunic. Oh, so cute. And a little slit on the arm, the sleeve. Like, come on. Get into it. Get into it. Yeah. Yeah. Because I feel like that might be a potential look if I opt for that direction as opposed to booties. Um, but I also got some new booties too. Anyways, the point is, I have a look in mind and you guys may have already seen it or you will see it or we'll see. I actually wanna wear it like outside. You know, I don't have anywhere to go, so. Anyways, the point is, these are the shoes I'm wearing today. I will have all these things linked down below if you're interested, um, but yeah. Oh, <sighs> when I tell y'all that, that abductor machine, Oh, I missed her. I missed her. But my feet are like clown feet in these loafers. Like, they look so huge. But I've been wanting comfy. Oh, my God. None of my feet slide in. I don't know. I'm like so easy. If these are actually comfy, I can't. I actually look insane. <laughs> and I look insane because the pants are skinny leg and not. Damn. Ah. Uh, okay. Outfit combo number six at this point. I don't know, but we're gonna try and sit off the top now. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, so I'm not mad at this combo. Um, I don't know if you guys saw my Sheen haul already, but I basically have this tunic T-shirt with slits on the slide, on the slide, on the side. Um. And I feel like it helps to balance out the huge monstrosity of clown shoes that's on my feet right now. Um, yeah, I'm okay with this. I'm gonna be a little cold because I just took off my jacket, but it's fine. I'm being in the car for the most part. It's in the 50s, so I will manage. But this is the look. I feel like it's, it's not even like punk, but like punk adjacent. And then here I go with this honey and floral fragrance, but it is what it is. I'm kind of like, well, the look never matched the fragrance anyway, so. But I mean, that could enhance the opinion. I don't know, we'll see. Anyways, we're gonna see what people think about it today. Let's go, because I've been in the house struggling with this outfit. Just to still not even look cute, but whatever, we're decent. We're gonna head out the door. <laughs> It is what it is. So I have Kiss of Rose. 
She's stunning, love her life. Um, these two are new, Kiss of Moth and Kiss of Spice, but I really want this one. But they're out. They're checking them back for me now, but. Oh, sorry. <laughs> are you out? Yeah, I thought. Currently in the parking lot of Ulta. <laughs> um, as you can see, I did do a little browsing to see what they had. They had a lot of really cute items that came in like Christmas and holiday packaging. Very cute, but nothing that caught my eye. I am so tempted to go to Starbucks right now. So in my, not my last vlog, two vlogs ago, I think, when I was trying out the Starbucks caramel brulee, something, a latte, that's what it was, the caramel brulee latte. And the girls were like, in the comments, like, um, go to your local coffee shop <laughs> and, and like, um, stop drinking Starbucks and this and that. And I'm just like, mm, first of all, no, <laughs> like y'all are hella sassy in these comments. Cause it wasn't even like, oh, maybe you should try supporting your local, you know, uh, coffee shop, blah, blah. It was just like, go to your local coffee shop go do this do that do that as if you were the one that pushed me from your vagina and i was very confused like who do you think you're talking to like that like i am perplexed as to who whom you are speaking to like that but then somebody else had a reference something about oh like you should be supporting some starbucks right now da 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 because of everything that's going on in gaza and i was like oh wait a minute there's more tea behind this See what I did there? Coffee shop, tea. Not funny. Um, <laughs> and that's when I was like, okay, let me do a little light Googling. And that's when I realized that there were companies that were supporting all of the things that were happening in Gaza. Like, uh, you know, instead of companies reinvesting in their employees, increasing benefits and doing this and that, they're out spending money and encouraging this and that and lobbying and throwing their money into, money into politics. Why don't you give your employees a raise? <laughs> All these companies making so much money and have money to give for this campaign and this cause and this and this and this and this. How come it's not going towards your employees? Like, that's crazy to me. And I don't usually touch on politics on my channel, mainly because it's a losing game, right? Um, oh, why am I doing this? It's like, yes, I want to talk about this, but then if I talk about this and I don't talk about this other situation and this other situation, people come for you. Or if I don't believe the same that you believe, people come for you. And it's just, it's a lose-lose situation. No matter how you spin it, you are going to get attacked. And so that's why I would say my channel is very much rainbows and butterflies. That's it. We're here for fashion, fun, maybe a little fitness, and food. That's all you get from my channel. But my God, the atrocities that are happening in Gaza right now. And I see why the girls were eating me up about the Starbucks. Like, first of all, your approach, did, it was some people, the approach didn't make any sense because out of spite, you made me want to go and show Starbucks in every single video before I knew why. It would help to give more information. Um, I'm not on Gaza. I'm not on any kind of like problematic or political um, or anything like that. TikTok, first of all, I'm very rarely on TikTok. I go on TikTok, I might scroll for two, three minutes and I get off because... If not, TikTok will consume me and I have too much going on. I literally have to put myself in TikTok timeout because it's that deep. Like, it's that deep. Um, and I also didn't want to address it at first because I didn't do the research. I didn't really know what was going on. I kind of just saw the things that were, be, that were being shown on social media. Um, so, you know, entering your mouth in something you don't know anything about is dangerous okay because once you say something you can't take it back and then i'm just like oh my god and i'm finding out all these things that are happening in congo and it's just like literally my mind is blown and honestly this is why i, I can't watch certain things on on social media i'm already on social media too much as it is like 
and I feel like these past couple of weeks, because I've been trying to go harder on different platforms, I've been showing more screen time than I need to, to the point where just every other minute I'm opening, opening an app, opening an app. What am I looking for? Nothing. I'm just so used to opening the app. Let me look at this. Let me look at analytics. Let me look at... Please, Jimmy Mo, rest. But also because of that, I'm not current on current events. Um, and on one hand, it, it's on purpose because I am, I hate to use such a, a popularly thrown about word, but I'm an empath. Like I, I'm very easily consumed into things and it can very easily take over. Like when the Black Lives Matter movement was at the peak, like I was down bad okay down bad and um i was looking at my nine to five then and i was just like i don't even understand how these people want me to log in with these people that don't look like me and pe these people that don't agree with me <laughs> and i'm supposed to do this this job and make y'all this money meanwhile they're now instating a a june 19th holiday all the caucasians get the day off but me as a contractor i'm still required to go to work the irony that the white people got the day off and me, the only black person on the team, had to work that day. Thank you, Joe Byron. Thank you, Joe Byron. But, um, I'm getting off point. The point is, I just, I, I can't even, like, I, I don't have the words to even begin to comprehend what the hell is going on. And I'm understanding each side has a story. I get that. But at the end of the day, what it comes down to is that children and babies are dying. Babies, babies, actual literal babies are dying. And I feel like it doesn't even matter what the argument is. There are babies dying. Are you insane? Like my heart can't even... I can't even, the way my heart drops when I get an amber alert. Oh my God. And it's like, that's just one baby. I just, this world is honestly too freaking much for me. And my thing is no matter what side you're on, at the end of the day, the goal is always to preserve life. Like be effing for real, be for real. In a perfect world, cops are not allowed to move a certain way. The, 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 the law enforcement is not able to move any kind of way. Technically, the army shouldn't be moving any kind of way. If there are too many civilians, if there's too much collateral damage, you're not supposed to be moving a certain way. So why, huh, all of a sudden there's all this justification. Please, respectfully, babies are dying. And I, I may not know much. I may not know much. Well, one thing I know about it, the babies ain't do nothing. Babies don't do nothing but cry, eat, poop, and sleep. Kind of like me. <laughs> so I'm gonna sit here like, oh my God, I'm so tempted to get talk Starbucks. Just to find out, y'all the villain? Y'all the drama? What? Oh. Where, where am I supposed to go? I don't like my local coffee shops. They don't make the drinks that I like. Dunkin' Donuts got way too much sugar in their drinks and it don't even be good. It don't, why am I still here? It don't be good. Ugh. Now I gotta figure out how to make a shaking espresso at my house. I don't got the syrups. I don't got the syrups. I ain't got the syrups. Now I gotta figure it out cause y'all messing up. Y'all messing up. Instead of giving out money for campaigns to give influencers, you want to spend your money in other countries, respectfully. Why don't you take that money and, 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 and support young black influencing women now that are supporting your drinks, your deliciously sh sweet drinks. <sighs> but I just, we live, I, we are living in a wicked, wicked, wicked world. And now this whole thing about Diddy being abusive and da-da-da and, and, and sexually assaulting, oh sorry, and assaulting Cassie and the women that are like low-key dropping subliminals in support of Cassie on, on social media. And then for the next day, that report comes out, the next day for him to, to, to reach a settlement? Ha! 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 
man, people are wicked. The things that people do for money and for power, the things that men do for money and power goes back to the beginning of time. Men have been trashed, selling out each other, selling out others for money and power. You want to be in power so bad. You want money so bad. And it's not like we don't all want money. We all want money. Let's be clear. But it's like there's no such thing as too much money. Like you're filthy rich and you're still sacrificing others to make yourself even richer. You don't think that's a sickness? People are amassing billions and billions and billions of money. Meanwhile, two blocks down the street, poverty. Oh, I tell you, wickedness, this world is wickedness. Child, I'm just here buying shoes, buying lip gloss, and trying to pass the time till this is my time to go. Because, baby, I. Man, if I sit here and I think about all the things. That are going on i will lose my shit lose my shit so i just stay in my little bubble like i just i can't i can't even with everything that's going on in haiti right now with the canal and the Dominican republic like it's just too fucking much it's too much so i'm gonna go home play in my makeup and try not to lose my shit for the rest of the night i'm trying to make it till tomorrow let y'all get on my fucking nerves not y'all the gens, but y'all the people that's not acting right in the world. Like, I'm just such a, a like a hum the, like I'm what's the, what's the uh, term I'm looking for? I'm just a, a, a kumbaya. I'm a kumbaya ass girl. Like, why can't we figure out a way to get along? But that'll never happen. Cause people always want power. People always want to win. Get on my nerves. Men get on my nerves, and it always come down to a man. It always comes down to a man. Make me sick. Ugh. Upon me. Good morning. Or is it afternoon now? I'm not sure. But I pretty much spent the morning doing a refresh in my bedroom. Reorganizing some things. Put together my new humidifier that I got from the Sephora sale. The brand Canopy. And I like it because not only is it a humidifier, but it also has like these little pups that you can put oil on so that you can smell the oils throughout the room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry if I look crazy. I did not look in the mirror first and I don't plan on it. Y'all my business. Okay. The white noise you hear is the humidifier, it's on high. But yeah, so. I was going through something when I bought so many damn things. <laughs> like, it's just ridiculous. I don't need this many. I don't. One big, one small. Oh, that's a, <laughs> the big one's just really big. Now that I have more in here, it's just two. Golly. But I like having a small one because they're easy to wash, and a big one because they're most comfortable. So, I'm here to stay. I. My donation piles. This plus size, sorry, I'm eating candy. <laughs> this plus size influencer that I follow on Instagram just announced that she is opening a brick and mortar secondhand store strictly for plus sizes. So, um, yeah, I had another episode and cleared out a whole bunch of things from my closet. So, I feel like I'm just not. I'm not in love with the items that I have, mainly because buying clothes for the sake of having hauls, that's number one, because how many pairs of jeans do I need to try? Like, <laughs> um, but two, I was always shopping from a place of scarcity. I was always shopping from a place of, um, I have to buy this now because I might not find a top that can fit me for another six months, you know? So buying things, that fit me physically and making that fit me aesthetically as opposed to me going out and sourcing pieces that I felt drawn to that I was in love with that I felt like 
not only did I like how they looked, but they worked with what I had in my closet already. That kind of mindset was a luxury I never had. <laughs> That mindset is a luxury that a lot of plus size people don't have. A lot of people with like body dimensions that fall outside of the standard does not have. Super tall people, super skinny people, um, people with like longer torsos and they do like legs or something like that. You know, it's, it's hard to shop when things are not made to fit your body. It's hard to shop when you're not average, honey. When you are not ordinary, you are extraordinary. It's hard to shop for the extraordinary, darling. And while it is a blessing to be extraordinary and to be unique and one of one and not one of many, it can also be a hassle. <laughs> um, so, yeah, and I feel like little by little brands are starting to make pieces that I genuinely love and I feel like are crafted with my idea of fashion in mind and so it's going to be difficult but I am essentially starting my closet over I don't want to say from scratch because I'm not completely eliminating everything. Over time though, I am taking out chunks of clothing that I just don't feel like are aligned with where I am today. And I am donating them, giving them away, giving them to friends and family. Um, or in this case, I want to source the best pieces that I have, especially the pieces with tags on it, the trendier items, the things that are still very much current. And I want to send them to this the store so that they have a nice variety of plus size options for people to come in and shop um yeah because i think that's that's special i think that's really special and um to start a business as a fellow content creator that's I, to start a business in general is difficult and to maintain it so i was like let me do my my part do a little sum sum to help you know help her get her her store running especially brick and mortar like where people have to physically go in and shop <sighs> but yeah i wish her the best of luck oh i'll also um put her from information down below i believe she's based in tennessee in nashville i believe so if you're in the nashville area and you want to shop in person for in a store secondhand store that is centered around you check this place out um but yeah my closet definitely needed a refresh i like to refresh it every now and then i need to cut down on the the body care items because it's 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 starting to expand beyond the allocated space and it's looking very messy so while i love having nighttime options i need to like bring some things back to my main space but even like my perfume area in general i just crapped in some space yesterday but it's getting out of control the Invisalign is already beating my ass. Now when I have a candy in my mouth and I'm talking and I'm like, this is ridiculous. I am going to cringe when I go back to edit this footage and I hear how I'm talking. I can feel the saliva building up in my mouth. Anyways, child. I need to get to work. I have a little bit of a late start today, but I really wanted to like give some life to this room. And I think I did just that. I'm gonna spread down my sheets. My pillowcase are very much mismatched right now. The the comfort don't match. Nothing match. But that's alright, because I didn't feel like digging and looking for matching stuff. I didn't. I ain't having any today. But they're clean, they're fresh. I have to wash my silk pillowcases. I need to get some more so that I can um constantly have them in rotation even when I have laundry to be done. Cause I'm not doing laundry today. Like I know the limits of what I what I'm willing and able to do. And laundry is not one of them. So, you know. You know. You know. Anyway, child, let me get back to work. Um, I'll pick y'all up if I do anything else interesting, which I probably won't. So, yeah, we'll see. But my little humidifier is cute. Oh, she's so cute. They say it's perfect for a nightstand, but my nightstands are pretty small, so 
I don't really know if I want to put her up there, but I kind of feel like she's cooling off the room as well. Like I turned my fan off because I felt like a little chill and I never feel a chill, especially not in here, you know, but anyways, yeah, let me get to work or maybe I'll just get back in the bed and continue, continue watching Rosewood because that's what I've been binge watching or at least playing in the background for the past like three days so yeah i'm on episode i'm on episode 20 god damn okay yeah maybe it's time for me to turn this off <laughs> that's crazy Gems. Good morning. I'm officially on vacay mode, which is weird because I'm never usually on vacay mode. Because um, one thing about being an entrepreneur, on, owning your own business, is that every day goes the same, even holidays, you know. But for some reason, I feel like today, the same way I would feel in my regular corporate nine to five. Like, yeah, I'm working this week, but like, it's giving in my really. <laughs> But like, actually, I have a lot on my calendar, so like, I really am working. But for some reason, I still feel like I'm in vacay mode. I don't really understand. I like it though. I like the feeling because I feel like little things like that that you look forward to, just it keeps keeps the juices alive. That doesn't really make sense, but it keeps you feeling alive, you know, instead of every day feeling the same. Like, I like feeling like the ups and downs and stuff like that because it, it gives me little things to look forward to. And I feel like the little things are really like the joys of life. The big things are great, like, don't get me wrong, but like the little things, it's like, I don't know. I just, I love that for me. Anyways, my stop is on crispy. When I tell y'all crispy, hmm. And I'm struggling because my hair is so thick. It's very hard for me to get down my scalp. So coupling that with the fact that I'm lazy, I haven't been entangling my hair. Like literally I've been washing it. Like at this point I'm about to grow natural locks. Like, <laughs> but this is like why I cut my hair in the first place. I got the freedom to be lazy when it comes to the everyday styling of my hair. But since I have lost that luxury, it's time for me to get in my hair care bag all the way for real. So, I wouldn't say that I'm officially back on my hair care journey, which low key, nobody would know, but <laughs> that's where I started, like for real, for real started, back when I was on my hair journey. My hair was flourishing, baby. Um, that was before I got into makeup and fashion and all the things. So, I had the time, dedication to, to put into it. Once I got into everything else, baby, I was like, I gotta pick one. <laughs> One or two, I can't do them all. And now I feel like we are back at a very dangerous place. I'm already a product junkie in everywhere else in my life. Shoes, clothes, bags, listen, I get to bags, fragrances, makeup, and now I'm back to adding hair. 
baby it's time to get that warehouse <laughs> but you guys know i'm big on scents and fragrances and so while i do have some hair care staples that i've been enjoying thus far make sure we're not slow mo baby one thing about this camera will play me um i i want a variation of products <laughs> to match my scent of the day or my look of the day because i don't like if i'm wearing a product that smells like coconuts but my fragrance is like floral it just it clashes and i don't like that i like for everything to be cohesive so um will i be embarking on a product journey yes also my hair is very particular like i can't even judge if a product is good or bad based on my hair that's how finicky she is it's kind of like my armpits um like she just randomly one day decided she wanted to be sensitive as hell and so i feel like i can't even gauge if her product is good or not because i'm so extreme like i can't say oh this is not a good deodorant just because i break out it's the same thing with the hair product i can't say oh this is not a good product just because it doesn't work for me my hair is just that finicky like she's very dry and crispy hair and scalp so when i do find a product it's amazing like amazing so anyways um i was watching adri and she was raving about um i think it's called like glazed donut something like that it's a body butter or body something and she said that it smelled delicious and it also smells like a tabitha's hairline donna's recipe so i said I want to try both so i ordered the donut the glazed donut moisturizer thingy um actually that's been delivered i should go see if i should flip it anyways but i also got tabitha's line baby i've been influenced so i'm gonna try her out today um she calls her her hair donna her fro damp donna um so i'm really hoping this is gonna be moisturizing it says made with real sweet potatoes stirred with vanilla and sprinkled with warm cinnamon perfect hair recipe for nourishment and moisture for hair and scalp everything that i need baby everything that i need now normally my hair is not my hair normally when my scalp is this crispy i would have to start off with a pre-poo but I'm, I'm already running behind i slept in this morning um so everything is pushed and i love that for me i do i love that for me um like i said i'm on vacay mode i'm still getting things done but you know oh baby this this is sealed that's a thing with invisalign i can't grip nothing with my teeth like i used to um <laughs> I need to go. Oh no! Okay, this one pisses me off. Baby, this seal is sealing. Oh yeah, it does. Oh. Oh, this smells like a pie. <laughs> I feel like this mixed with um the Fenty cinnamon um like graham cracker butter topped with Angel Share. Or even any kind of like peppery, warm fragrance. <laughs> or vanilla fragrance. I feel like that will pair really well. Oh my gosh. She was not kidding. You literally smell like food. Wow. I was like, I don't even know if I wanted to smell that. Like, I'm not telling you, this smells like a pie. Oh. Oh. And then she says that, that butter smells just like it. <laughs> Oh, baby. Baby. I'm so sorry. I feel like this whole video is me trying out different products. Also, update on the loafers. I'm so happy I invested in them. Low-key, my ankles don't match my body. And I feel like they enhance how small my ankles look. But I don't even care. But I'll tell y'all, those are the comfiest loafers I have ever tried in my life. I'm so glad I took the plunge. When I tell y'all, I could not find... A comfy loafer to save my life okay this one's a lot easier it's a creamy shampoo yeah creamy moisturizer shampoo so we're just gonna go in we're gonna go in and one thing my hair does love is castor oil from the beginning of time child she is a fan of this thick af funky oil now when i want to minimize the funk i use regular castor but oh when i tell you she loves this stuff like oh my god 
one one time for the parts of my body that want to be bougie and not align with my desires and my desire is to be low maintenance and easy but no she wants to be bourgeois she wants top of the line she wants a top top quality <laughs> me myself i don't mind low quality I, I would love to enjoy low quality but no she wants quality she wants the best of the best um but are you employed are you are you contrib She knew what I was about to ask. Are you contributing to the lifestyle that you want? Girl, you, <laughs> you, you, you didn't have to come for me so hard. Like, okay, sis, like, you win. Like, OMG. Y'all saw she snatched that damn dropper? That's crazy. Like, my bad, sis. Oh my God. That's insane. She really snatched up that dropper. Like, bitch, shut your motherfucking mouth. That's what she did. When she snatched a dropper, she snatched my lips. You never seen a black parent snatch a child's lips? Shut your motherfucking mouth. Stop talking. When the adults are talking, shut your mouth. That's what she did. Okay, um, you got it, sis. <laughs> I'm gonna be quiet and take my happy ass in the shower. Oh, Snatch that motherfucking drop. That's crazy. Oh, oh, oh. That's crazy. So now I'm gonna try the extra creamy leave-in conditioner, um, and then we're going to top it with the extra creamy hair and a scalp oil this is a sealant so let's try them out and they all smell the same i love that okay my hair does not feel amazing i'm gonna try it a couple more times but my finicky af hair just, just she's just particular she is just particular but yeah my hair does not feel amazing like i wanted it to feel <laughs> unfortunately but we're just gonna continue and see how everything settles in as it dries Basically, like shea butter. This one smells like this one smells like that Rio de Janeiro pistachio spray that I don't love. Ooh, I don't know how I feel about the sealant, y'all, but mm -mm. okay, try to like. Rub the product from the tips of my fingers onto my scalp. Scalp. Putting more product centralizing it on the tips. And I can really like. Oof. I'm gonna do one last entangle, then I'm gonna style, and we are gonna look at the finished results. He also counts this on his left hand, which is his dominant hand, which means that he would inject himself in his right arm that as well. The guy had help killing himself. They were uncomfortable with his word for that. Thanks. Check it off for smell. No, no. So, let me help you. She's looking cute, especially for a fresh wash day coiling situation. I'm not mad at this at all. 
I am not mad at this at all. So I will continue to play around with the products and also interchange them and mix them with other products that I have because sometimes I find that those mixes that I create could come out really well. Um, but I'm not mad. Ooh, I can't wait till it dry. Hopefully I remember to update you guys in the next vlog about how my hair feels um, once there's no water in it. But so far, like at the texture itself, I'm not mad. I am not mad at all. But that is it for today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it was a key. Um, yeah. Okay, uh, hair journey, period. You know, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one. Toodles. <laughs> Come on here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah.